So hey guys, it's Ed, and this is Saturday on FTM Television. So, um, this week's topic is how did you know? No, wait, it was, it was either how did you or when did you when did you know when did you know? Um, <laughs> when did I know? Um, I can't exactly remember when I found out that there was such a thing as transgenderism. Um, sorry, I got a bit of a cold. Um. I can't remember when I initially found out that there was a word, but I remember always feeling from a very very young age that I was uh I was something wasn't quite something wasn't quite right um uh I, my mom told me a story um when I was when I was young uh but was, I think she said I was around five or six. She said we were on the high street, and a friend of the family um, came up to us apparently, and was like, "Isn't that a pretty little girl?" And apparently, I've gone, uh, "Um, I'm not a girl. I'm like my brothers, and I wanted all my hair cut off and stuff." So my mum apparently took me to the hairdressers and got all my hair cut off about this length. I got a haircut today. Um, and took me home, and apparently all my family went ape shit, and apparently I was really, really happy. <laughs> um, so as far, I don't remember that at all. I do not remember that. Um, but apparently, um, I remember just before I I started puberty, I was like, I was never really a girlish, girlish person. Um. All my friends were guys growing up. Um, I was very, very tomboyish. Um, and then when I hit puberty, things went to hell because I was like, oh, it wasn't a good time. Um, slipped into depression and stuff. It just wasn't wasn't good. Um, I remember going through a girly girly period when I was about. 14 but that was more for my family and other people um I thought oh, I'll triumph in I'll dress this way I'll dress that way I'll wear skirts to make them happy and because they were always they were always asking me like like pestering me about why don't you wear dresses why don't you wear skirts you look so blah 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 you know <clears throat> so that was more for uh it was more for their benefit than it was for mine. Um, uh, and then that didn't last for very long. Um, I got to a point where I was just, I was sick of it all and just, I couldn't put up this front for everyone anymore. I couldn't, couldn't be something I wasn't. Um, so that's when I stopped conforming to what my family and my friends wanted um and then I got to college um and one of my friends uh Jeremy uh they came out as uh genderqueer and uh told me it's like can you start referring to me as uh as Jerry and and calling me by male pronouns because Jerry, Jeremy prefers to be called Mal, or Mal, called uh, I can't speak. But prefers to be prefers to be referred uh, to with male pronouns. Um, so that was a piece of cake, and I just I talked to talked to him. I talked to him, and he um, educated me basically, and everything from that moment on. Um, everything kind of started sliding into place. I was like, so this is this is um this there's there's actually something uh that describes how I feel and stuff. Um, and I think it was around I was even, I was between sixteen and eighteen. I know that I was definitely between sixteen and eighteen. Um. Like I said, I can't remember the the definite age, but I was I was between sixteen and eighteen years old, um, and then I 
didn't tell anyone. Um, I didn't tell anyone at all. I uh, just kept it to myself. Just researched a hell of a lot. Um, when I was about 17, I remember talking to my mum about... Um, I was questioning my gender and stuff and she got quite upset. She was like very, um, very, very aggressive and very like, so you want to be a boy, blah, 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 blah. And it's like trying to explain it to her in my head. I'm like thinking to myself, oh, I already am. I already am your son. You just haven't realised it yet. Um, so I told my mum I was having uh, gender... <sighs> gender issues um and then a year after that I met my uh I saw my ex-girlfriend for the first time in two years and we ended up getting back together um and a few months into being with her um I came out as trans um I'd bought a binder previously um because I really, really, I, ne I needed a binder and I couldn't think up a good enough excuse to get one. So, because I cosplay, I just said to my parents, look, I want to buy a binder um, for my cosplaying and to wear casually. And that's how I got wearing a binder. Um, so I bought that. And then a few months into me dating, um, me, me being back with my ex, I came out to her and then a few months after that came out to my parents um, and uh, I fought long and hard I've been thinking like my, when I come out to my girlfriend she was like um, she's my ex now by the way she's not my girlfriend still um, when I came out to her she was like so are you gonna what are you gonna do? She was like, you're gonna fully, cause she she's got a trans friend, and she was like, so she she already knew about trans people. Um, she was like, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take take uh? Are you gonna are you gonna take tea? Are you gonna get surgery? I was like, I know I definitely want surgery. I need surgery. Um, my webcam's having a bitch fit. <laughs> um, and I was like, I don't know whether I want to take tea yet. Um, and I've been thinking on tea for a year and a half now, um, and I'm pretty decided that I want to, I want to take tea, and I, this year I've seen Dr. Curtis, and the ball's rolling, but uh, I definitely thought long and hard, and figured a lot of stuff out before I came out to people. I mean, I, I talked to my mum about having gender issues previously, but, you know, she didn't take that too well, so we just moved on from that. But uh, she was aware, uh, and yeah. Um, advice. I've my one bit of advice to you, whoever's watching, would be to not rush into things. Um, do your research. Um, don't rush. Uh, take time to figure things out uh, just research and you know I can't tell you if you're trans only you can say if you're trans so um, I hope this uh, video has helped to anyone who needs who needed something to relate to I guess um, sorry for the lethargicness of the video um, I'm kind of sick and I don't feel too good, so um, I will catch you guys next week.